so in this video I want to uh, want to kind of uh, drill down uh, on the Neo 2 which is speculated to come out uh, into the UK market in about mid-November uh, 2025 looking forward to it um, but what I want to do is to uh, to look at the specs between the original Neo and the Neo 2 you know so with it with this information I can then you know chew over my mind a little bit whether it's worth for me you know upgrading you know from the original one which is a fantastic drone by the way uh, to the to the new uh, upgraded Neo 2 so uh, what I want to do in this video is to uh, go through just some of the upgrades and to come to some kind of an understanding of what to do with that information at the end of this uh, this little video i just like to say everything i say right now which is not an ai voice by the way i have got a brain i've got eyes i've also got a mouth to speak so i'm using that everything i say is going to be put down below in the video description uh, what you're watching now the footage uh, on your screen tv or whatever you're watching it from uh, is from the uh, original uh, dji neo one it's absolutely fantastic and anyone getting into it I would say that you cannot go wrong with the original DJI Neo. Uh, the upgrade is going to be amazing uh, if if we can believe what we're going to be reading in a moment anyway. Uh, so uh, let's get right into it. So um, the original Neo, the weight of the original Neo is 135 grams. Uh, the Neo 2 is speculated to be around about 151 to 160, depending on the module, which I think is that little thing at the back of the drone so it's slightly heavier but still it's under that magic figure of 250 grams so it's still very portable now whether you can actually stick this thing in your pocket or not uh, I don't know it doesn't make much difference to me but for some people it does obstacle avoidance sensors so in the original one it's very very basic pretty much you haven't got much in the way of obstacle avoidance perhaps something going on at the bottom there but in the neo 2 it gets lidar also it also gets infrared and also omnidirectional uh, sensors so uh, that's good for obstacle avoidance so big safety upgrade right there so if you fly in tighter or more complex spaces like trees indoors or near obstacles that's a massive improvement uh, maybe a game changer for some of you out there right ears prick up time camera video specs now this is where I'm kind of interested we know that the Neo original shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second maximum. But what about the new one? Well, this one shoots in 4K at 60 frames per second. So frame rate here is in 4K, which is which is massive. The aperture is f2.2 versus f2.8 and a wider sensor gimbal setup, which is a great improvement. So if you're shooting more professional or smoother footage, the Neo 2 offers a meaningful jump in image quality and flexibility. Four K is a big file, so we need some massive upgrades right here to handle that 60 frames per second. Are we going to get it? So the original Neo internal storage, 22 gigabytes, not huge. You're soon going to run out of space right there. Uh, the new one, wow, look at this, 49 gigabytes. They've more than doubled it. They've doubled it. That's a massive jump right there. For many people, that's a game changer right there. So it's good for capturing more footage without immediately needing lots of external media to save your files. What about wind resistance? The original had lower wind resistance and less aggressive specs. The new one is claimed to have improved wind resistance up to 24 miles per hour, uh, which is better tracking as well. So makes the drone more usable in outdoor and less ideal weather conditions. So if it's, if it's blowy out there, you know, it's not gonna bank so much as the original one. So that's great. Gimbal stabilization here as well. Okay, a game changer, possibly a game changer for some people, for me, game changer. So we know about the original one, uh, single axis gimbal. What about the new one? Upgrade. This is a dual axis gimbal. What does it mean? Well, basically it means smoother footage, less wobble, better results, especially when moving fast like I do.
I mean, it's a great upgrade. Um, that's the basics right there. Uh, for me, what's important here is the video camera specs. Uh, they've much improved, uh, better quality, uh, 60 frames per second. That to me is a game changer. Also, internal storage, 49 gigabytes. That's more than double what we have. So we got 4K at 60 frames per second. That's a big file. I need somewhere to store it. Where can I store it? Bang, there you go. 49 gigabytes. Wow, game changer right there. Wind resistance and the, the gimbal stabilization. Yeah, that's good. What about the flight time? Well, not much of a difference there really, to be honest. You've got an extra minute, an extra one minute flight time, which, you know, it's gone from 18 minutes to 19 minutes not huge but it's an improvement so i think all the way around this is that they've improved on the original so if anyone is coming into drone flying what i would do if i was brand new to this and i was looking to get into it what would i do would i buy the original neo which at the moment is priced at around about 179 uk pounds okay which is value for money right there for what you get is absolutely brilliant or the new one which is coming out you know mid-november which i think is going to be pri priced at around about 204 uk pounds so there's a bit of a difference there about 35 quid so for the extra 35 pounds you know you're going to get a whole lot more so anyone coming into it i would say most definitely i would consider the neo 2 coming in also i would consider flying fpv as well I think it's much easier to fly FPV. I found when I was using the sticks and looking into a, a phone screen or something, I found that quite difficult. I had a lot more, put it this way, I had a lot more crashes uh, flying with the sticks and looking into looking into a mobile phone. When I put the goggles on, it was a totally different experience as well. It's more immersive. You can see a whole lot more, and basically, it's just a just a better experience. And I just love it so I think from the information which I've got here right now although I've got the original DJI Neo it's a fantastic machine but I think I'm going to upgrade to the Neo 2 so when it comes out guys I'm most definitely going to order myself the DJI Neo 2 and I'll be making videos with that and to be honest I can't wait. <laughs>